Hey everyone, it's Flack88. Welcome back to Operation Drago. This is 7.3, Soviet Global. Let's get right into it. No housekeeping. We're doing a little bit, uh, a little bit better. Um, the only thing, Captain G wasn't sure what uh, casualty to take here in Akershu, or what unit to leave, so I'm gonna leave the attack helo like that. Very good. All right, let's get into some tech. Last time I didn't get any of these, it was just pitiful. I'm gonna do the exact same except for one change. We're going on the seventh attempt for computers. Advanced SLBMs. We're gonna change it up and go for SDI. Since those uh, bloody Americans got uh, advanced SLBMs, that's, that's a little bit rough to the strategic situation. And then lastly, advanced manufacturing, which we are still stuck on stage two. So here we go. Using some different colored dice this time. Okay, all right. All right, looks like uh, we finished computers. That's very nice. Whew. We missed SLBMs again. And we got SDI. How about that? So we are parallel with the US for SDI and we missed advanced manufacturing <laughs> but we'll take SDI that's a 10 plus I'm gonna do that 12 on that one so we'll take it all right here we go into our buy into our buy we had 59 to spend which is a nice chunk of change all right so aside from all the missiles we collect five anti-ship five piece 700s five AS-4s, and then four cruise missiles. We're gonna buy one airborne for four. We're gonna do an attack helo, light infantry, and a free frigate for nine. A next gen mech and two SAMs for 16. We're gonna lend lease the Warsaw Pact, an air superiority fighter, and a fighter for 16. We're gonna use both of our advisors to upgrade light infantry to air cav for eight. And then lastly, we're gonna send military aid to Angola in the form of a fighter. And this is only six. So we take this eight IPP fighter and we, we reduce it by one for the military aid, or excuse me, the arm sails, and one for the red skies ability that I have for the Soviets. So that makes that six IPP. Outstanding. All right, let's get into it. Should be a more um, shorter turn here. So we've got <laughs> lots of red arrows. So we'll stay, we'll zoom out down here. We'll start uh, from Hyperbad. My poker stick here. From Hyperbad, we're going to take an airborne via the air base up here. Can you see that little spot? This can fly up to three. We're gonna go one, two, three. And we are gonna take Diego Garcia away from NATO without a fight. Outstanding. That does, uh, has no IPP value, but it has a pretty nice bonus value of two. Uh, secondly, we're gonna attack and declare war on Sri Lanka. So Sri Lanka has a paramilitary um, Captain G used all my paramilitary markers. I gotta find one quick. Here we go. Uh, so we're gonna take that, we're gonna attack that with an air cav and an attack bomber from New Delhi. And that uh, creates the minimum amount of units to declare war. Next up, skip the ads here. Next up, pan over here. From New Delhi. Following the yellow dice, we're gonna go one, two, three. We're gonna take two TU-22s. And they're gonna launch two AS-4s into this US fleet here in I-1. And, and these AS-4s have a range of two, so they're gonna go one, two. We'll deliver those to the target here. 
Now covering the intercept for these TU-22s, we'll pan back over. We've got a fighter from Hyperbad off the minor airbase. We're gonna go one, two, three. Off the New Delhi, we're gonna go one, two, three. Actually, that fighter can only went two. <laughs> Pardon. Uh, we'll put a gas tank of three left for that fighter. And uh, these AS fighters can make it. And then lastly, this air security fighter from Pakistan is going to go one, two, three. Okay. Uh, this These escorts are important because Captain G is opting to scramble a air security fighter from Djibouti. And a Top Gun and an air security fighter from the Super Carrier and I-1. So we're going to have a heck of a round of intercept here. Um, three air security fighters, actually two air security fighters and a Top Gun against two air security fighters and a fighter. So a slightly better um, advantage for the defender here. So we'll see how that rolls. Uh, lastly, in this I-1 attack, we're going to take this, let me see this, Victor 3 uh, nuclear attack sub. It's going to go 1, 2, 3 down here into I-2. And it's going to shoot two regular ASMs into that fleet in I-1. All right. And Captain G will have one missile defense die since he has one cruiser left. Okay. Since we're still over here, a lot of action over here in the Indian Ocean. again. Alright, so from I-6, I have two frigates. Um, if you saw the correction, I had three, but that was a, a violation of placement rules, so I decided to keep two dollars and, uh, um, excuse me, uh, take a frigate off. So uh, one of these frigates is going to come down, one, two, into I-4. And you see this little halo, this little uh, roundel ring here. Kind of identifies this pretty cool. So it's going to auto kill this oil tanker. And since this air security fighter, or excuse me, this ASW helicopter has no, um, pardon me, this since this is a combat, combat movement into this zone, the tanker died via regular combat, and the ASW helo cannot. Uh, retaliate because it cannot target a surface vessel so it'll retire and unfortunately perish for captain g so that asw helo is gone we will take that c zone and destroy all of its oil contents without rolling any dice very good outstanding it's minus two more oil income for nato so gotta help out my uh Brothers in Warsaw Pact <laughs> with every move we do here. So, All right, so that wraps up Indian Ocean attacks over here in Europe. My options are a little bit more limited. But from Western Ukraine, I off camera here, I have a strategic bomber. It's going to fly 1-2 into Western Czech, just out of scramble range. It's going to launch two cruise missiles. I already removed these from my dashboard. Cruise missile is going to go one to Bavaria and two in Rhineland. I will be using a spy sat and I will be using some more cruise missiles here that I will identify here shortly. But first I need to move some units. The units being the entire North Fleet, with exception of the amphibious assault ship. It's going to go one, two, three. And the entire... Uh, Black Sea Fleet here, Baltic Fleet, but Black Sea Fleet, excuse me. It's going to go one, two, and then we're going to take the Diesel Electric and then Victor Three here in the Danish Straits, and they're all going to consolidate. Um, I'm just moving them all because uh, escorts and, and whatnot, it's just easier to move them all at one time. So they're going to launch between the Victor Three, which can launch one, and then two cruiser, cruisers, which, which can also each launch one. We'll make a combined 
uh, missile attack here of three cruise missiles into Rightland, joining the two from the Strat. So that'll be five cruise missiles into Rhineland. Okay, that is all I have for combat. Everything else is uh, considered non-combat, so. All right, let's go ahead and start rolling. And let's start down here with uh, Sri Lanka, since that's kind of a simple one here. Okay. Get rid of these dice. Let's do uh, a two in red to identify the um, paramilitary. We'll do uh, we'll do a fight or uh, attack bomber in seven, and we'll do a air cav at four for in, in this turquoise color. There we go. Okay, let's roll this all in one time. Here we go. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. So everything hit. We got a one, two, and a four. So this is interesting. All right, so what's going to happen here is the paramilitary is going to die. That got a hit. And then I also have to take a casualty. Um, and I uh, am not going to take my attack bomber. I'm going to take this air cav, which means I will not take Sri Lanka. And that will become NATO, since it's got a little NATO defense flag there. So that'll become NATO. All right, I'll take this little bonus die off. Apparently, I got a little too cocky there in my uh, planning. So, all right, so that will just now come back back to New Delhi. New Delhi, I'll do that now so I don't forget. All right, so let's go down here to the missile battle. Ooh, well, we have to do intercepting first. Intercepting first. So, there we go. I didn't have my music playing in the background, that's why I had bad luck there. Okay. So let's do US air superior fighters in blue, and we'll do the top gun in red. Um, intercept values are different than regular combat values. Um, air superior fighters are at six, and top guns are at seven. So we'll do it like that. Sixes and seven. All right, so my air superior fighters will be also at six. We'll do orange. And I'll just mark it up here so I don't forget. Make sure I got enough dice here. Here we go. And then I've got one, we'll do this turquoise. That's a cool color one uh, turquoise guy here that is my fighter and that only intercepts at three okay so here we go we'll roll this all at once and remove our intercept hits pending dice wow 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 okay so some big things happening here we got a hit with one of the Soviet air security fighters and the fighter. So that, this was a six, I believe, excuse me. So that is two hits. In defense, Captain G got a nine, a two, and a six, which is also two hits. This is a very interesting um, circumstance here where I believe both of us will achieve a battle star. <laughs> All right, um, which I need to look up here just so I don't specify this wrong, wrongly. All right, so battle stars are on the reference sheet. Okay, so battle star condition: destroy two or more air units in a single interception combat, or max damage: destroy an army base, shipyard, or air base. So we each destroyed two in an intercept. This is intercept. So we each got a battle star. <laughs> so let's 
So we will get um, bonus one free minor air base or our minor air base upgrade. Okay, so I'll have to figure that out. I'm gonna put that on my place unit um, card so I don't miss this. Okay. All right, I'm gonna place both of them on there because I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet. Interesting, okay, so first of all, I have to lose two units, so I'll lose an Ears Purity and a Fighter, and Captain G will probably lose his two regular Ears Purity Fighters. So, a very balanced, even exchange. I only brought one of the, my Ears Purity Fighters over. Pardon me, the other one's still here, so. We'll leave those there. That was a bloody air fight. Um, so interception is done. Missiles are now going through. All right, so let's roll. We'll give US a blue again. One missile defense die at a four or less. And that is a two. So we will remove one of the ASMs. We have one ASM left. And five AS4s. So we've got, I'll just keep the blue die for the ASM and we'll do orange for the AS4s. AS4s are at seven. Cruise missiles attack at five. So here we go. Holy cow, what an awful, awful missile attack. Um, apparently I gotta use these orange dice for tech. So I got one hit with a six. All right, so per Captain G's casualty order, he's gonna put one damage on that super carrier. Ugh, okay, we'll leave these here. Uh, we'll do non-combat. I probably won't forget those. Looks like I goofed this all up here though. Okay, all right, so that is that attack. Lastly, we've got the missile attack up here. So NATO has, we'll do, we'll do a different color. NATO has um, three AMD dice and I have five cruise missiles coming in. So here we go. Here's AMD at four or less. And that is two. Wow, the missile defense is on fire. So I've got three attack dice. And I'll do... I'll do blue, three attack dice, uh, five or less, and I have a spy stat, so here we go. One measly hit out of five missiles. Wow, can't believe it. <laughs> um, and I will get to target select with that one missile hit. That was pretty, pretty, uh, pretty awful. Okay. All right, uh, what's it gonna be? Next gen artillery. Let's do, uh, let's do next gen. We'll take a next gen off. Okay, sad times. Our missile dice were not, not on par, but uh, that's okay. Okay, so let's show the consolidation here of this fleet. We'll move into non-combat now. I'll move this somewhere where we can see a little better. Okay, I'll move these off the board, put these on the fleet here. Okay. Probably could have done this beforehand. My apologies, everyone. Okay, just simple organizing. All right, we're gonna leave the orange marker there to identify that. All right. Let's move. All right, sorry everyone, just kind of thinking out loud here. I'm gonna pick up these red uh, 
combat arrows, so I'm not confusing myself. Okay, very good. All right, so returning back to base, we'll put this over here so we can see. Uh, the strap bomber is going to come back to uh, Western Ukraine. Has plenty of movement. We're going to move via regular movement. We're going to move one two from Western Ukraine into Hungary into Austria with a mech and a next gen, just to help our buddies hold the line there in the mountains of Austria. Okay, the airborne, make sure we can see. The airborne in Western Poland cannot use the airbase because it's damaged, so they're gonna walk down to Czechoslovakia, Western Czech. Very good. And we can see this, the um, <laughs> just thinking here. The attack bomber in Murmansk is going to go one, two, three, four into Western Ukraine. Okay, can we see all the way up north? There we go. The SAM battery in Nordland is going to hop down to Svealand as well as the Air Superiority Fighter, as well as the Attack Hilo in Akershu. The Battlestar winning um, heroes of the North. Okay, very good, very good. All right, and lastly, we're gonna use a sea lift here. Out of Denmark, we're gonna sea lift this airborne. One, two, three, into Eastern Germany. It's a little bit hard to see, but uh, there it is. Okay, so this is done. The uh, diesel electric down here on silent running is going to hop over one, and actually this should have been a combat movement. My apologies to come off silent running as a combat movement. So I miss that. Um, no, no effect here, no change. So we'll leave that there in A49. Very good. Okay, all these are done. Carnage pile off camera, no one needs to see that. Okay. So we don't have all the luck we wanted down here in the Indian Ocean, but uh, it is what it is. Okay, so air security fighter that survives is going to go one, two, two hyper bad. The NATO top gun is going to go back to the carrier because it can. And the TU-22s are going to go back to the Naval Air Base in New Delhi. Very good. All right, we're going to hop over a light infantry to Hyperbad. As well as an attack helo. Very good. Wasn't expecting to lose two air units down here, but uh, it's okay. It's okay, it is what it is. All right. Um, lastly, not lastly, we're going to do a couple airlifts. We're going to take the Airborne out of Nordland. And that is going to go down to Angola. Beefing up things in Angola. The fighter from Nordland is going to... I think we got to move him down here to Hyperbad. And we're going to airlift, using our last airlift, a Marine from Murmansk out of the Major Air to... Let's put him down here in Hyperbad. Is, nope. Yes, we can. We can airlift. We haven't used the airlift capacity. But just in case I'm mistaken, let's put him in Bengal. We have an airbase there as well. So. Okay, very good. All right. 
That's all I have for green arrows on the board. There's no way I possibly missed anything this time. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and place some units. And I think I'm going to place, make that a major airbase upgrade instead of a minor. So, okay. Okay, so let's place the airborne in Moscow. We have a major air, uh, army base there. Deliver military aid at the end. So let's do an upgrade here in Hyperbad. We'll exchange out that light infantry, which is good because I was out of painted light infantry. The one I had on the build chart there was not finished. And then we'll replace the light infantry here in Angola. Very good, very good. Outstanding, outstanding. Okay. All right, um, let's place these ground units here, the mech, the SAMs, the next gen in Western Ukraine. Warsaw Pact does not have AMD yet, so we gotta help them with some uh, AMD capable SAM units. All right, on attack Hilo, we're gonna build in Hyperbad at the air base. And then we're going to build the uh, light infantry at the army base up there in New Delhi. We're going to place our free frigate here in A13. Put our advisors back on the board. And then next up, well, we better finish this up. So let's put the minor air base. Let's upgrade that one here in western Ukraine. Outstanding. All right, military aid delivery. This, we're being a little sneaky with this one here. Since Captain G and his outstanding uh, strategy of destroying my air bases with the NATO and bombing the crap out of my bases with the US bombers, we're going to deliver scramble a bowl air units to Bavaria at the minor air base, a fighter, and, oopsie, an air superiority fighter in Austria at the minor air base via military aid. And those were produced in Moscow. So very, very good. Delivered via ground and put in those territories with air bases. So they are eligible to scramble at any Pesky little B-52 bomber attack on any of my facilities, so. All right. Lastly, the fighter, we're gonna deliver that down here to Angola. All right. We've got a pile of missiles to add. That's five, nine ASMs we have. We have a lot of P-700s. Five crepes. Over ten. Way too many to count right now. And five more AS4s. Which would make seven. And we have four cruise missiles. We fired five and we are collecting four. Okay. Alright, our base income did not change. Although we will collect 46 for our base income, 46. Our computer income is seven. Now that we're at stage four, so we'll take seven for computers. All right, and now we have uh, Bonus income off the board. So two for Diego, three, four, five, six for India, uh, seven, eight for Central America, and then nine, 10, 11 for the North. 
So we'll collect 11 more. And then we will roll our Pacific Command um, support. So here we go. Looking for a low number. That's a seven. That's middle of the road. So we will take off four. There is a table in the rules that have the uh, what all the die rolls equate to for that. So easy. Look at there, easy math. So we got 60 IPP to spend next turn. Make sure that's right. Yep, 60 IPP to spend next turn. All right, thanks for watching, everyone. This is a nice short 30-minute video. Uh, take care, and we'll catch you in 8.1. Warsaw Pact. But let's go into disposition for Captain G here. In Diego Garcia, we have a... Um, airborne, the fleet in A13 is three frigates, two destroyers, a cruiser, and a carrier. Um, and that's still in port. We have a marine in West Bengal. We have an air superiority fighter, a fighter, an air cav, two attack helos, a mech, and a SAM in Hyperbad. South Pack, we've got two mechs, two MBT. New Delhi, we have a light infantry, two TU-22s, and an attack bomber. One frigate and I-6, one frigate and I-4. Uh, uh, excuse me, nuclear attack, Victor-3 and I-2. We have a Foxtrot and uh, A-49. Changes to U.S. forces. There is a Top Gun on the fleet and one air security fighter in Djibouti. Um, Angola, we have two air cav, an airborne, a fighter. We have two Angolan fighters and two Angolan light infantry and an Angolan nuclear attack sub. Just starting to rust out already without any action. Um, no changes to the fleet. Absolutely nothing. Can't really do much. Same with that sub. No change. I remove the um, next gen out of Rhineland. Uh, we delivered a AS fighter to Austria and a fighter to Bavaria. The entire fleet is in a 10, which is consisting of a heavy aircraft cruiser, two Yak 38s, two battle cruisers, two regular cruisers, two destroyers, two frigates. Three diesel electric subs and a Victor 3 nuclear attack sub. Oh, and I missed this. Two ASW helos. I forgot to move those down. My apologies. Knew I would do that. All right. In nothing changed over here. In West Ukraine, we got a Strat attack bomber, two SAMs, a mech, and an X Gen. In Austria, we've got a next-gen mech. In um, Denmark is empty. In Western Czech, we've got two airborne. In Eastern Germany, we have one airborne. In Gotland, Akershu, Nordland are all empty. In Svalian, we have a SAM, Air Spirity Fighter, and Attack Hilo. Very good. And that is... Oh, and we have an airborne up here in Moscow. Forgot that guy. Very good. All right, that wraps it up. Quick disposition. Uh, don't forget, you scored a battle star with that successful intercept. Um, so you get to place that prior to your U.S. turn. So, All right. 60 on the IPB. Finish computers and... Stage 1 SDI. All right. Take care, Captain G, and everyone else watching.